all right give me a sec i'll only take a minute of your time the second channel is fully up and running you're not going to be heading to empty channel now we're actually playing gta san andreas a story mode game made by rockstar games the definitive edition recently released so we're running through it i've got a few uploads up there so if you head to the second channel right now you can follow me through it i'd really appreciate it if you just checked it out give it a chance man you're going to enjoy the playthrough with me trust me but yeah man that's all i wanted to say just before we start this video appreciate all you guys love and support recently hit 23,000 subscribers on the channel want to thank you guys for all the support it's not going to be everybody's thing on the second channel but if you guys could just give it a chance i'd really appreciate that but yeah for this video enjoy it man Yes sir, my name is Akashi and in this video we are going through the top 10 units to use during this leader slot update, ones that will make your teams insane, there's different places to put them, this is one thing that I'm actually uh, having fun with doing and I find that a lot of people are also struggling with, I streamed yesterday and it was a very good stream, appreciate everyone that came through, fighting in platinum, you should check it out, subscribe if you're new by the way but the main thing is that there's lots of units but there's certain units that you can put in different places that will benefit over others. And on top of that, you could put the same unit in so many different places. For example, one that I've just been using everywhere is Fat Boo simply because he locks in every single time. Uh, not every single time, it's like two, three times. And he still strike hearts, which are really important. Especially most teams that do damage on melee types, I find anyways. Uh, so this list of units are just units you can take and apply them where you wish. I feel like they're the biggest winners. I even tried to put it in order, so it's going to be tr quite controversial. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I want people to disagree with me. Not everyone's going to agree with me. I feel like the order is okay. I could have revised it more, but I tried my best. There's always going to be someone that's not happy. But I'm doing this intro too long. Hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button on this grant to 25,000 subscribers. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys for 23,000 subscribers. All my social media links are on the left. It's the YouTube channel where we've got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. There's just going to be some random gameplay in the video while I'm actually talking. I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. Let's actually get into the video now. Okay, so that the video isn't too long, I'm actually going to start with the bottom five first. Then we're going to go into this top five. And I'm just going to discuss why I have people in a certain order as to why I believe these 10 would be the most valuable and why they're in that order as well. If there's anybody else that you feel should be here, let me know down in the comment section below. But I feel like these lot are actually it. And of course it will change in the future, but for right now, this is what I've got. Alright, so for the bottom 5 units in my top 10 list, we've got number 6, Super Saiyan Bardock, the Zenkai. Number 7, the Gohan from the future, the adult one, he's an LF. Zenkai Super Gogeta is number 8. The Goku Black, who is green, at number 9. And number 10... Namek Goku. I feel it's best to explain my reasonings for why people are a certain place in a manner where it's because someone's better than the other and not that someone's worse than the other. It feels like it's easier to explain it like that. So for Bardock, his value has just skyrocketed because Super Saiyans were already a good team but lots of the, lots of the time they wouldn't synergize. Like Bardock could give them buffs but a lot of the times they wouldn't be going the other way because Super Saiyans are in different parts of like the whole franchise. For example, we have some hybrid Saiyans, we have some movies units and whatnot. But now that the actual leader slot allows them to go both ways, it's like the, the Super Saiyan teams are just now on crack. And we already know that Super Saiyans, once the crits hit, it can literally destroy your game in seconds. So Bardock is a very large winner on this leader slot, 100%. He's making the sixth spot. On top of him, we've got the Gohan. He's there because he actually supplies endurance which can keep your team alive a lot longer his cover change destroys cards like it's really annoying to deal with i believe it takes key too and on top of that he actually goes type neutral if one of his members die which is actually very helpful um, when de dealing with a lot of units in this meta especially when you're in like a, a type disadvantage spot so you want to put yourself in the best position as you can which is why that i feel like him putting them on a lot of teams actually helps out a lot but I will also say that um, a lot of teams, I feel like they go, um, 
they have like a weakness with yellows not to say that they don't have good yellows but i feel like yellow is just generally a weaker uh, element in comparison to some of the others for example blue i feel like it's extremely strong and purple is extremely strong alongside red so uh putting this guy on many teams would actually be a big big w next uh super gogeta goku black they're kind of for the same reason so they're both there because goku black, uh, gogeta has draw speed but he's a 3v1 god so a last standing he's actually gonna do a lot of damage he builds up buffs consistently he gets key on switching ultimate art is a destruction like bomb of destruction bro like you don't want to deal with it goku black the same thing he gets key and uh, damage inflicted every time he draws a card. He can draw cards for his green card main ability. That can be really helpful when extending combos and then even switching out to another unit. I feel, just feel like the fact that Gogeta, he can fit on movies as a red now and the buffs go both ways because he only buffs fusions. is actually very valuable, which is why he's higher than Goku Black. And then number 10, we got Namek Goku because Namek Goku is Namek Goku. Like his blue cards are going to cause you problems. And when he's last standing, it's very hard to get his health down on top of the fact that uh, his health actually regenerates uh, being last standing so uh, yeah it's very very difficult to get him down now for the top half so the top five I'm gonna start from five going up to one so number five we've got Vados number four we've got Zenkai Margin Buu good number three we got FSK Zenkai 7 number two we have LF Super Saiyan Gohan the Revival Gohan and number one, we got LF Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta. Now, these top fives were a lot easier to do, in my opinion. I'm going to start with Gogeta. You see that his value actually skyrocketed as soon as he got his unique equipment. And that was very good. It's just that nobody really runs GT or Fusions. But now that you can put him on any single team, he is being used everywhere. And I feel like the fact that he has cover changes, sustained damage cut, green card takes away your buffs can't be cover changed gets key from it blue cards he backs up another one special move damage on top ultimate is a bomb and with the unique equipment he can get the damage inflicted get a rising rush right after using a rising rush killing somebody all of that just meshed together on a numerous amount of teams is such a problem gohan the same thing we all know he's the best lf unit uh best unit in the game without a zenkai so his revival alone that just gives you an extra life that's a problem to deal with you see how he is annoying on hybrids imagine putting him on other teams that already have good defenses and whatnot he can be a real big problem he does a lot of damage in general and has them explosive green cards it's just disgusting man uh zenkai super saiyan 2 gohan fsk you can run him on saiyans and it will literally just be sun family but now the z abilities go both ways the same reason i gave with uh bardock where the teams will work together, but the Z abilities didn't mesh most ways. If you run FSK as the leader, you're going to cause a lot of problems because he's just been buffed up. It's like he's on steroids now, same way. Margin Buu, I've been using him. He's my favorite personally because I feel like he locks in all the time. Still, not all the time, but it's limited. But he still strike hearts as well. He can regenerate a lot of health for your whole team. And now the Z abilities go both ways. It's that extra defense for your team. It's overall very solid. He's hard to kill. He regenerates health naturally himself. Uh, after like an attack when his health reaches a certain point he's amazing he de his defenses are good you guys know Majin Buu is the staple for regeneration and then number five I have Vados Vados you know how supportive she is on God Key but then imagine having that support on every other team she can literally turn your team from zero to hero uh, just by buffing them as long as you have your team intact put Vados in the leader slot she's leading you to victory man you gotta have a woman behind you bro but this time she's in front she's honestly the goal I will not lie so that is my top 10 list right there i feel like for the most part maybe not the order but i feel like for the most part this list is it's neat it's perfect man you can't beat this list man all the characters here i feel like they have their very big winners some people might be asking why is not zenkai super saiyan 3 here well that guy actually needs a saiyan to work with to actually get the maximum capacity out of him so he'd actually be capped on certain teams which is why he's not as big as a winner as everybody else on this list let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm very happy with this list. Let me know what you've been using in the leader slot update. Like I said, I've been raining Margin Buu. I've actually been using Revival Han, and I feel like I'm going to stick with Revival Han on my offensive fusion team. But yeah, I don't have anything else to say. This was my top 10 list. I feel like they are the best units, and we'll just have to see as time progresses, especially with what's coming out for the festival. I'm going to leave it like that, though. Appreciate you guys for watching. Press the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're on this grind to 25,000 subscribers. My name is Akashi, guys. And I will see you guys 
in the next one. Energy! Let's go!